Hello everybody, I'm Trent Sterling and this is a tutorial on blend modes for Active Tuts Plus. Basically blend modes are used to modify color values or transparency in images. Blend modes are commonly used for special effects or compositing in games, movies, and image editors. Explosions, screen transitions, masking, lighting, blend modes have many applications in Flash projects. You may notice some blend modes are a bit similar, but they are not the same. Some blend modes are direct opposites of each other, and you need to know which one to use in any situation. Blend modes use a background image and a blending image on top to give you a final modified image. Each pixel from the background is looked at and modified by the blending image on top, giving you the composited image. Colors and transparency are taken into the equation when the pixels are processed. All display objects from sprites, bitmaps, and movie clips have a blend mode property that you can change to get an effect you're looking for. You can set the blend mode property to the constants defined in the blend mode class, or you can use the actual string values and quotations instead. Here's a quick example. We're going to go ahead and create a sprite variable. And then we're going to give, we're going to change its blend mode property to blend mode dot add. Uh, you can do this with the add constant, and you can see all the other constants defined in the blend mode class. Or you can just type the string uh, add or multiply or screen. If you want to see the literal string value, you can right click on the constant and then go to its declaration. And there you can see the literal the string that's used. You can use either the constant or the literal string value. Or it's up to you. Either way, they're pretty much the same thing. You can see here I have a list of all the blend modes and I'm adding them to an array in our application. I've set up this application to test each blend mode individually. Many people will slide through each of the blend modes until they get an effect that looks nice, but I want to explain to you how each blend mode works and show you some examples or scenarios where blend modes can be useful. As a game developer, I will be using examples of blend modes in a gaming context. Generally, I'll use blend modes for things like fog, explosions, particles, and lighting, but blend modes have endless uses and functions that you will have to come up with. Originally, I was going to talk about each blend mode alphabetically, but I want to talk about these blend modes in pairs or groups. Each blend mode comes with a similar or directly opposite partner. The first blend mode that I need to talk about is the normal blend mode. It is the default blend mode that doesn't apply any blending to the background image. When experimenting with different blend modes, you will use the normal blend mode for comparison. Using the normal blend mode is the same as not using a blend mode at all. Knowing that blend modes require processing and often have an effect on the performance of your flash project, you should try to limit blend mode usage if you can. 50 objects with normal blending is much faster to display than 50 objects with the overlay or hard light blend modes. Now I'll move to the layer blend mode. As you can see here, it doesn't look like anything has changed. The layer blend mode is similar to the normal blend mode because it doesn't modify any colors. However, the layer blend mode forces creation of a transparency group or an alpha channel. This is required to composite with the alpha or erase blend modes, which I will be talking about next. The alpha blend mode is essentially adding a mask to the background or base layer. As you can see here, my stars disappeared. 
There's a black background on my stars that you can see in the normal blend mode, but when switching to the alpha blend mode, the stars disappear. However, if you switch to the transparent version of our star image, where the black is actually transparent, and then switch to the alpha blend mode, you can see the effect of the alpha blend mode. The alpha blend mode will take the transparency in your blending image and apply it to the background. Now the background has become transparent and you can see the checkerboard through it where the transparent pixels were on our star image. Here you can see I have a simple radial gradient that goes from white to transparent. With the alpha blend mode the white area becomes see-through and the transparent area actually makes the background layer transparent in the same area. The color doesn't actually matter on the alpha blend mode. What does apply is the transparency of the blending image. Paired with the alpha blend mode is the erase blend mode. You can see here that the erase blend mode is the opposite of the alpha blend mode. Instead of erasing the background where our blend image is transparent, it erases it where it is not transparent. You can see how this could be used for lighting. Uh, for example, I'll go ahead and make our background black. And you can see how that would easily make a lighting system where the lights could blend together. Sort of like a spotlight. You can also see how the erase blend mode could actually be used to erase things or cut out shapes. You can also see here that if I use the cloud image instead of the transparent one, we just have we just have a large erasing rectangle because once again the color does not apply to the alpha or the erase blend modes only the transparency does by using a transparent image with the erase or alpha blend modes you can see how you can create some interesting effects I suppose I should resize this window and make it a little bit easier to view in our video now that I've covered the normal layer alpha and erase blend modes I'll be moving to the add and subtract blend modes. If you assume that the add and subtract blend modes are opposite of each other, you'd be right. The add blend mode can be used for additive lighting, fog effects, screen transitions, and is also good for adding glow effects to things like explosions. If we look at our explosion image under the normal blend mode, you can see that we have a black background. If we go to the add blend mode, you can see how that black background is taken away. However, anything lighter than a mid-range gray will be added to the scene and will sort of brighten things up. As you can see here, these two explosions can actually add to each other and make an even brighter or more intense explosion. Anything with a color range lighter than a medium gray will add together. Anything darker than a mid-range gray will be made transparent. As you can see here, our fog image has a lot of darkness. When you choose the add blend mode, all the darkness becomes transparent and all the lighter areas add to the base image. These blend modes can also be used to crossfade images together for things like screen transitions. Moving to the subtract blend mode will show that it is essentially the opposite of the add blend mode. As you can see from the subtract blend mode, it acts very much like the add blend mode where the dark areas become transparent. However, the lighter areas have actually become darker. Essentially, we're taking the colors of our base image and subtracting the white from it and makes it black. If we were to use a different image, we could see how this effect will change the colors of things. As you can see here, our, our orange explosion is making things blue. Our flame image also has a similar bluish teal effect around it.
If you go to the rainbow background, you can easily see the color effects by the different blend modes. Now we have two more blend modes for this tutorial that are similar to add and subtract. These blend modes are lighten and darken. Just like the name suggests, the lighten blend mode is used to lighten the image. The lighten blend mode will look at both the base image and the blending image and see which one has lighter pixels. It will then keep whichever one is lighter. You can see an example of this where the horizon is wider and the ground is darker. You can see the blending image solidly here, but not as much here. You can see that Lighten is very similar to Add, but it is not the same. The Darken Blend Mode is the exact opposite of the Lighten Blend Mode. You can see how the darker areas are visible, however the lighter areas are transparent. You can see the similarities between this and the subtract blend mode, however, once again, they are not the same. This is the end of the first blend modes tutorial. The second tutorial will cover the multiply, difference, invert, screen, overlay, and hard light blend modes. Stay tuned.